This is Kathleen from Be Again Books, and I'm here with a flip through of my latest journal. This one is for the Graphics Fairy Design Team. So I was recently excavating in the vault at the Graphics Fairy Premium site to see what treasures were part of the early image bundles, and I discovered this fabulous Ancient Travels bundle. And I was also inspired by the recent Steampunk Adventures bundle. So I had these, just the boards from this old Reader's Digest book and the colors kind of set the mood and provided a really great backdrop for this beautiful collage on the front of the journal. So I completely rebuilt the book and had to create a new spine which I did from chipboard and this heavy linen fabric. And I used uh, paints and inks, acrylic inks, to, to make this new spine. I've just used this um, thin leather to kind of cover the edges of the, the cut boards. And I wanted to use these beautiful, rich, marbled end papers from the bundle. Uh, inside in the pages and I have used a number of vintage postcards from the vintage postcards bundle. So let's go inside and I will give you a tour of ancient Egypt. So here's my initial spread. I have included this K uh, initial on this uh, flashcard and I love this pretty steampunk lady. I love her hat. I love her glasses. Yeah, I've just used a little bit of ribbon there. And this is just a, a simple image journal card from the Steampunk Bundle. So I also had an old National Geographic with uh, images from ancient Egypt and an old thrift store coffee table book about the pharaohs. And so I have used these pages here. I've made an initial pocket with... Some of that book page and throughout these pages I have used sandpaper to create kind of a linen kind of texture on these pockets. Um, I have this first postcard with just an image from a tomb from the, the bundle, the Ancient Travels bundle. This is an image, a cartouche that I kind of cut out of some of the images and enlarged. I've used that with texture paste and some inks. There's another image from the bundle on this. This is a journal paper. And it just folds over this first page. This is a vintage label for crates, and I assume that they used to ship a lot of antiquities out of Egypt in those early years. This is a picture of Flinders Petrie, who was an early Egyptologist, and I've just put him on a little collage tag here. Here's the second postcard with an image from the National Geographic and the Vintage Postcard Bundle. Just made this um, little collage here and a cluster over here and this flips out with note paper from one of the printables. I enjoyed using the images in creating these collage papers. Smushing, splattering. I've used the washi print, um, the printable, here just in this pocket. And here is a third postcard that I made just with um, an image from the thrifted book and have distressed and sanded that as well. So this is 
This is what I had the most fun with making this journal. The Technica I... fresco originated actually in the Egyptian tombs and I wanted to kind of create that look in this journal and so I have used these heavy um, book pages and done some stenciling first of all and sanding and then I've used texture paste and these acrylic fluid acrylic inks to kind of create the colors of the sunbaked desert. These are um, the part of the rich marbled end papers bundle and I felt like that reminded me of the rubble that would be kind of at the bottom of an excavation. They looked very pebbly and and then I lifted this image out of the bundle and made this beautiful digital paper. This was from the grit and textures bundle, I think. Grit scratches and textures. I made this um, background paper as well. This is just this pretty kind of steampunk collage pocket and then tag. There's a scarab there. Another little image from the bundles. This is an image from the thrifted book. And another little note paper. And this is a fold over tuck. Some vintage stationery that I stenciled. More inks. Lots of room for writing. Some fibers here. Here's the other part of that pretty digital page that I created. Such a fun thing to do. This is a, a cluster belly band and I just have a one of the pages from the National Geographic and that just slips in there. Some metal gears. This is one of the printables from the Steampunk Adventure bundles and I have just used that as a large tag. This also came from the one of the printables, just these stripes in perfect colors to match this page. I have printed this hieroglyphs image onto a paper and then distressed it with some of the other textures and this is the other part of the initial pocket in the beginning and this time I have closed it on the side and just done some embossing. Here is another piece of the washi tape printable that I've just used as a tall narrow pocket and then made this little mini journal to fit right in there. This is uh, an original vintage um, some kind of a receipt that's French 1937 and then I've used a vintage Rolodex card and just created that little journal spot some fiber along the edge of this and here's another flip out this is a vintage map not of Egypt, but this is one of the little coin envelopes that I make out of uh, window, junk mail window envelopes. And it just has uh, an altered guest check inside. And that flips over the top here.
I really enjoy doing this mixed media on these papers. This is from the book, The Flyleaf, and more smushing and inking, a vintage ledger. little candy bag here and just an altered scrap with the carob beetles on there and uh, some more of the faux fresco this is also a little hidden spot i enjoyed using these hieroglyph images and enlarging and reducing and and putting them different places in the journal And here's another of the marbled end papers that I thought was so, so pretty. And another cartouche, some quote mummy cloth. Just coffee dyed cheesecloth. Some other steampunk images. Again, this tomb image. From the bundle and some little hieroglyph strips this is just um, some textured paper it was just the the right color and I have just folded that in a fancy fold and so it can be journaled on and then just refolded and tucked back over this sanded paper and I've made just a little ribbon clip and then I just have this little journal card and just a coffee dyed index card and then it just kind of creates a couple of tuck spots there. And the blue lotus is such an important image in ancient Egypt, and I wanted to find a blue lotus picture. And lo and behold, I went searching in the graphics fairy for flowers and then blue flowers, and there it was an Egyptian lotus. And I was so pleased to be able to use that in this this um, journal paper and I again used the images from the ancient travels bundle and then created this it's a physical collage here at the bottom corner and this just folds over the page another of the map another cluster plenty of room for journaling there I love doing these layered shorts. This is a little flip out pocket envelope. Um, so this is just an altered envelope here. And then there's room here for some ephemera and also a pocket at the top. Another of the digital papers. And finally, these hieroglyphs again at the back, the printable in the Steampunk Adventures bundle. And I just backed that with some ledger and stenciled. And there's the lady again here on the back page as well. And this cardstock that is also kind of a linen texture. And that's the end. Thanks so much for joining me. This journal will be listed in my Etsy shop. And I appreciate the graphics fairy and my opportunity to be on the design team. Thanks so much. We'll see you again with another project.